Hello friends, today we will be synthesizing the orange 2 SO dye also called acid orange 7 or beta naphthol orange. This is used as a dye in textile industries. This is not methyl orange indicator dye. The materials required are given here. It can be very easily prepared by disetization of sulfanilic acid and then coupling it with beta naphthol. The first step is to diacetize sulfanilic acid and for that I have measured out 5.2 grams of sulfanilic acid. Sulfanilic acid as you can see is an off white colored fluffy powder and it is readily soluble in water. Next we measure out 1.35 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is available as soda ash or washing soda. Now we transfer the measured sulfanilic acid into a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask. On top of that we add the anhydrous sodium carbonate which we just measured out. Into that, we add 50 ml of distilled water to start the reaction. Sulfanilic acid being an acid starts reaction with the carbonate giving out carbon dioxide which you can see as the effervescence. It forms sodium salt of para-amino benzene sulfonic acid. Now we heat the solution until the turbidity disappears and the solution becomes clear. When the solution is clear, we set it out from the heat source for cooling. Now we measure out 1.8 grams of sodium nitrite. It is sodium nitrite NaNO2 and not nitrate. Into that add 5 ml of distilled water and mix to make a solution. This sodium nitrite solution we add into the previously boiled and cold solution of sulfanilic acid and sodium carbonate. Now we are making another solution by adding 5.25 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid into 30 grams of crushed ice. After cooling we add that previously made solution into the cold acid solution. This completes the diacetization of sulfanilic acid and the diazonium chloride then ionizes in aqueous solution to form the sodium ion, chloride ion and the internal salt. So we have completed the diacetization and now we move on to coupling. For that we have already measured out 3.6 grams of 2 naphthol which we are mixing in 20 ml of 40% sodium hydroxide. 2 naphthol is slightly soluble in water but dissolves readily in alkaline solution because it is a weak acid. The sodium hydroxide also helps to neutralize the acidic byproducts of the reaction. When the coupling takes place, you can see a dark orange colored solution is formed. The reaction of disonium salt with 2 naphthol is an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction which is strongly activated by deprotonated alcohol group. Now we give a gentle heating so that the reaction can take place completely. After cooling, you can clearly make out the dark orange colored precipitate of the orange 2 dye formed. Now to start the purification process, I will first do a filtration to get the crude dye. I am using a simple gravity filtration here. If you want to complete your filtration process faster, always do a vacuum filtration. After filtration, I dried the crude product and now 
I am going to transfer this crude product into this 250 milliliter beaker on my right side. During this transfer you can see some filter paper bits are also being transferred into the beaker but that is not a problem because in the next step I will be washing this with ethanol and the product will get dissolved in ethanol while the paper will not get dissolved in it. After adding the ethyl alcohol, I will be filtering the solution and then evaporating the solution to get our final product of orange to SO dye. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos. I can improvise a lot more if you can financially support me through Patreon or PayPal. Links are given in the description.